Hey everybody, welcome to Boots and G's Riders. I'm Rich. And I'm Cake. What we're going to talk about today is where to next. Where to next, meaning where we going for our next motorcycle vacation next year. Road trip. Road trip. Okay. We're going to talk about that because we just plan differently than most people plan. So we're going to get to where we're going to our next selection. Where we go going next, we have no idea. So what we're going to do is show you how we do it 90% 90, 90 of the time. So we're going to show you some of the tools or the trades that we use when we do our motorcycle road trips. Calendar. Oh, yeah. Got to mark it on the calendar. Make sure you pick that date first. We pick our date. You see this mark? This is just our countdown to our one that's coming up. For us, we always pick our date first. Why we pick our date first? The mark we use for the calendar. Why we pick our date first? Because we pick the location first. We may not be able to get to that location where we want to get to. Like say we want to go up to Washington State where it's cold. And the only time we have for our vacation is January, February then it's kind of bad news. We always get our date first, but our dates normally is in the middle of the summer. So that's a little easier for us compared to some people. So pick your date first, then you can pick the location. Now, we do pick locations without doing what we're about to show you. But 90% of the time, this is how we pick the location. Well, we don't have no idea where we're going, and it's just more fun for us like that, a little bit more exciting. The next tool we use is you might be on the right track of what we're getting at. So that's one of the other things we use when we're doing our planning. And then the next two. That's right. We use an old school map. Now we use technology also, but we use an old school map. So what we do, like I said previously, we pick our date. Our date for next year is mid-June. I think it's June, June 15th. 15th that we go on the next road trip. June now, 15th. Our where? Date, we just have no idea where we're going. We don't know where we're going. So how about we show them how we pick where we're going. Well, you saw the map. So what we're going to do now, since she want to show you. Yeah, yeah. That, that'll be a better thing instead of just talking about we'll show it. We'll show you how we do it. So we're going to actually turn this on and turn it back on when we get back to the location. Our garage, where we normally plan on where we going next. Let's go. Now we have the map up and we have the dart. Uh-uh. We have more darts on some of their friends. I'm going to pick two. Rich is going to throw three of them. Here, Rich. Get behind the camera. I'm going to throw it. Wherever it lands, we might go there. Looks like Alabama and Arkansas. Arkansas, so we might be Alabama, heading to, Mississippi area. Might be heading to Alabama or Arkansas. Okay, this next three is what we do all the time. We throw these. So as for now, we have no idea where we're going. So you guys are going to be witness to where we're going next year on our road trip. Close your eyes. I didn't close mine. Minnesota. Minnesota, Mall of America. Hey, yay. Hey. Kansas. Kansas. And Illinois. So come we got it. Yes. So what we do from here is we eliminate places that we've been to already, and then we just choose with two darts left of where we're gonna go. So, what you want to eliminate? You got Arkansas or Alabama? Which one you want to eliminate? Alabama. Okay, we're going to eliminate Alabama, uh, Kansas. Kansas. And since we missed one of the darts, I would eliminate Minnesota. So, oh, no more love America. So, here, ladies and gentlemen, you actually seeing 
two of the spots we chosen for our ride next year. Now, how do we pick between the two spots? We have this scientific technique that we use. It works all the, the time. Spots. It works all the time. But, um, we actually flip a coin. So, we'll make Illinois head and Arkansas tail. Ready? You call in the air. Gotcha. Heads. Heads it is. Landed on heads. So we eliminate Arkansas. So next year, we are actually traveling to Illinois. Where in Illinois? We don't know yet. Wait a minute. Didn't we been to Chicago before already? Yeah, we have. We have. But we haven't rode Route 66 runs to Chicago. Oh. So maybe we can write, roll a Route 66 from California to Illinois, to Chicago. Okay, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. You just found out what we ride next year. We're going to be riding Route 66 the opposite way from Santa Monica, California, all the way to Chicago, Illinois. And that's how we do that. We're going to take this back inside or to a different location and give you the rest of how we do and complete our trips. Hold up. Underhand. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, they all went to the same spot. Turn it on. All right. Now you saw how we pick our location with the darts, the flipping of the coin, Illinois one. You know the route that we're taking, Route 66 from California to Chicago. Now we just have to come over here and map out and see how long it's going to take us to get there. Right. We're going from L.A. to Chicago, Route 66. It's going to take us over 2,400 miles. Yeah, what we've done next is, this is where our technology come in. Everything we've done out just was, you know, stuff that we love doing for fun of it, not knowing where we're going. But this is where the technology comes in. We're on Google Maps, like she said, and from our house to Chicago is 2,400 miles. 2,400 plus miles. And we normally ride around 300 miles a day. Sometimes we'll do longer. No, no, first day is about well, that 600 first day, miles. We do about 600 miles yes, to on get the it out first the way. day. And that normally take care of what normally we do 200 miles. So according to Google Maps and riding Route 66, 2,400 miles, if we, if we do 300 a day, it should take us eight days to get there. Now, normally we'll talk about a two-week road trip. But, but this we're road trip. 30 days yes, this trip. Yes, we have 30 days to do this one. So let's, let's do the math. If we take us eight days to get there, and if we actually come back the same way, which we know, it take us eight days to get back. That's 16 days, which yeah. means we have 14-something days to play in Chicago. Now, what, are we going to stay in Chicago and play 14 days? No, probably not. I doubt it. Would it take us eight days to get to Chicago? No, it's going to take us longer because there's a lot to see and do on Route 66. We like to look at things. Uh, uh, national parks. National parks and monuments. National monuments. And, Things yeah. to do on the way, free stuff. We look at look for a lot the, of free stuff. What, what they call it on Route 66? All the iconic roadside attractions. Attractions. There you go. The roadside attractions that so, we um, that we would like to see that we didn't get to see when we rode it coming the opposite two times. way. It's a lot to see. So this is going to be a fun and fantastic trip. We're going to bring you on a journey with us. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. And hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we put up videos on Route 66. And from there, the next thing we normally do, first of all, we got our date. We got the date. Which is June, June 15th. 2020, June 2020. 15th. You saw us pick the location, which is Chicago. Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. And we got the route. We got the route. And from what we do from there is we go back to our old school calendar and this is our old school calendar all these x's on the calendar tell them what it's for that's why our next trip coming for the trip coming up this year in august to canada yes we're going to canada so and every morning when we get up whoever get up first we pass this calendar and we mark it off we are now 73 days away from canada yep 73 days <laughs> and we do this every single trip. So now we just got to get another calendar and pick it up from here and mark 
for next 2020. year. We do a countdown to what we're doing on our next trip, and it's very, very exciting. For me, when you out six months out, it's not a big deal. We get up and we mark it. But as we get closer, I get a little bit anxious, get nervous, and get excited because Can't sleep. I get there. And then that last day, I can never sleep. You know, I got to try to get some sleep before we go out. And that's basically how we choose our location and how we plan our trip. Now we know there's a lot more than just planning a trip. We gotta get our bike prepared. You yeah. gotta get your mind prepared. You gotta pack. We gotta get our budget set for 30 days because we don't have 30 days on and this not trip. Two weeks. You gotta get all these things done. But this is what we do. This is what us, Cake and I, from Boots and Jeans Riders, do to plan our trip. So when we go to Canada, we're gonna film that also and give you updates on us going to Canada. So make sure you subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we put up our Canadian trip video, which is Don't August. forget to comment. Make a comment below. Exactly. So until then, until we meet you on the road again, I'm Rich. I'm Kay. For Boots and Jeans Riders. Peace. We out. Be safe. Ride long. Ride hard. Ride strong. I'm cutting that out. Just ride. <laughs> Just ride. <laughs>